And that's how we opened a portal to the netherworld and summoned the Undertaker to the Earth Realm so I could defeat him and cement my Hall of Fame legacy. Uh, we're fine, thanks. I told you they wouldn't believe it. You know what? I, none of that crazy stuff ever happened. I, I mean, sure, I, I beat The Undertaker, you all witnessed that, but, but could you imagine all that other wacky stuff? <laughs> Portals and Marsh Ladies and Papa Shango? <laughs> yeah, gotcha! Joke's on you! <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to things that actually happened. Like when I was the longest reigning women's champion of the modern era holding the SmackDown Live Women's Championship for over two and a half years. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. As a reminder, the title is on the line here in this match. And the champ is certainly going to have an uphill battle, that's for sure. I'd say the champ appears to be all business here tonight. That shouldn't really come as any surprise, Cole. I don't think I've ever seen the champ not prepared for a match. Oh boy, did someone call for a Glamazon? Without question, one of the best, most purest natural athletes we have ever seen in WWE. Corey, what does she have to do to leave here tonight as champion? She's going to need to be absolutely perfect. And I'm not talking about near perfect or close to perfect. She absolutely needs nothing short of perfection to knock off the champion here tonight. Introducing the challenger from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. And introducing the champion, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Alexia Anderson. We're about to see which woman ruled the landscape around here. The women's champion posted on social media today, nothing makes me happier than decimating whoever dares approach the peak of my mountain. Strong foreshadowing words for her opponent. Well, it might be unfortunate then that her challenger possesses the ability to move mountains and might shove the champ clean off the top. She seems to have gained the advantage here. She's a lady that can crank it up at the drop of a hat. And again, yet another counter. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Here she goes. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. The champ to the top. Look out. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's 
a piercing elbow. Here she goes again. Look at this. She misses big time there. Wendy Richter, Trish Stratus, Sherry Martell, Lita. So many great Hall of Famers helped make the Women's Championship the prestigious prize it is today. Three. Down with a power bomb. A bad place to be for the challenger. Four. She needs to turn the tide here. But that's not all. Seven. Here we go. Diving knee drop. One. Slam down hard. Two. Three. Back now inside the ring. No way. Astounding power. Now, oh, look at the torque. She better do something fast. Whoa, impressive. You can say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. The champion into the cover. One, two. No, that may be the closest I've seen a referee's hand come to hitting three. Double chicken wing applied. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. But now, can Beth Phoenix for the championship? The champ kicks out at two and a half. Tried for it early. Wow, she turned that one around. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. Going after the upper body. And it's targeted attacks like this that put people on shelves for a very long time. Big slam. As this match goes on, is there any self-doubt running through the minds of these competitors? You can't even allow that notion to creep into your head. You have come too far and fought too hard to grow weak now. Power bomb! Ring rattling! Planet. Nothing's gonna stop her now. She's flipped the switch and the light is on. German suplex. But that's not all. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Two, three. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. Critics of these ladies in the WWE might not have been very impressed, but they did do some nice things in there. That's a woman on a mission. Wow, big win right there. I strongly suggest Beth Phoenix go back and watch this match. There's plenty that can be learned from this loss. Guys, I've looked. Our record-breaking SmackDown Live Women's Champion is ready to address the WWE Universe.
Since I defeated Mickey James over two and a half years ago, I've had the privilege of defending this championship against the very best female competitors in WWE. But when you're the longest reigning women's champion in the modern era, it's only natural you start to look for new ways to challenge yourself. And considering it's a little wild west around here right now with no GM, I figured this was my chance to do that. So I thought about doing an open challenge, but that's a little played out. I could force myself to win with the four or five count, maybe, or I could do something really unprecedented and defend my title against male superstars. So what do you think? It's Becky Lynch and her savages. Uh, nothing good ever happens when they come around. Well, that's your opinion, Saxton. Personally, I think they're one of the best things going today on SmackDown Live. Well, whether you like them or not, you can't deny the influence they have over WWE. I'm not arguing with that. Ever since Becky Lynch took control of this faction, she's pretty much been able to do whatever she wants, except for taking that SmackDown Live Women's Championship away from Red. I have a feeling that could change real soon. So you want to give yourself new challenges like five counts or facing men? Well, I have a better idea. How about you forget all that and face the man? <laughs> it's funny you still throw around that title after all these years. I mean, I'm the one who's held an actual title longer than anyone since the 1970s. So I'm pretty sure that makes me the man. <clears throat> I am the man because I'm the leader of the most powerful force this sport has ever seen. And that's when there's someone in charge. So just think of what we're capable of when no one's steering the ship. So unless you want to find out what happens when we have free reign, I suggest you give me my title match tonight. If you didn't hear me the first time, I'm looking for new challenges not rematches against played out losers I've already beat. And you and your crew trying to intimidate me isn't going to change that. Besides, everyone knows you're just all bitch and no bite. <laughs> oh, well, if you're not gonna give me a title match, then I'll just have to beat one out of you. Boys, little help. I'm going to show Red here my bite. Red is severely outnumbered here. So far, Red's holding her own. Not anymore. Becky Lynch is showing Red that she's not just all talk. Here comes Trey to help his best friend. I admire his courage, but Trey has no chance against these guys. It's it's four on one. I told you, Becky and her savages are one of the best parts of SmackDown Live. It's clear that unless she can somehow even up the sides, Red faces an uphill battle to hold on to her SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think you're looking at the man who's going to end Red's record-breaking title reign. We gotta get even with Becky and her savages. How are we gonna do that? We're at a five on two disadvantage. We saw what happened out there and we wanna help. Great, where were you 15 minutes ago? We all had severe simultaneous leg cramp syndrome or SSLCS. It's a real proven medical condition that can occur when superstars team as long as we have and their body's ailments become synchronized. Uh, I don't think they're buying it. Look, the truth is that we didn't want to get involved in your business. And we know sometimes certain people can be a bit stubborn about wanting to do things on their own. He's talking about you. Nah, it could be anyone. It's fine. I know I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. 
I can recognize when we need help, so we'll take it. Thank you. So do we do like a secret New Day handshake now or something? How about you two rest up and next week we'll see what we can do about Becky and her crew. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, leg cramp acting up again. Uh, you guys feeling it too? You can stop that now. <laughs>